Hello everyone, it's Spawn Point, and today we are unboxing the brand new Xbox Series S Carbon Black Edition. It launches this week and I'm going to show you what's changed and why I think the Series S is a great little console for next-gen gaming, especially with the new 1TB SSD. I also wanted to say a massive thank you to Game for sponsoring today's video. If you're looking to buy this Carbon Black Xbox or any games and accessories, make sure to check out the link below. And with Starfield just around the corner, this could be the perfect time to pick up a new Xbox. Okay, so first up, we've got the box that it comes in. It looks similar to what we've seen before with it being a white box, but obviously the console and the controller are now black. We've got the one terabyte SSD mentioned on the front, and around the back we have the Power Your Dreams, where we've got games like Forza, Minecraft, and even Starfield, which I'm massively hyped for. And if we get this opened up, we've got the console, which I will unwrap in a second. Then we have a setup guide, which shows you everything that you need to do to get up and running. Inside this box at the back, it comes with a high-speed HDMI cable, a power cable, product guide and warranty card, and the new black wireless controller, which I think looks the same as what we've seen on the Series X, at least without comparing them side by side. It also comes with two AA batteries to go with it. And that is everything that we get inside the box. Then we just need to remove this cardboard sleeve, which wraps around the console, and peel the packaging away to take a closer look at the new colour. And here it is. And this is awesome. I'm already liking the all black look to it and it makes the black vents on the side sort of blend into the case. On first impressions, this looks great in black. And I can already see this being the ultimate stealth console to own. We've got a blacked out power button at the top and the Xbox logo in the bottom corner. And if we spin this around and look at the back, along this little line in the middle, we've still got the tiny Xbox and Hello from Seattle right in the middle. It's only a small detail, but it's a really nice touch. Now, what I've always liked about the Series S is the fact that it's so small. So if you needed a new console, but you didn't want it to take up too much space on your desk or in your setup, this is the best way to do it. In fact, it's actually 60% smaller than the Series X, so its footprint really is tiny. And here's how it looks on my desk. Again, that all black design is perfect and it fits in really well. And here's how it looks in my living room, either on my shelves where it would normally be or under my TV, but it is so small that it will fit pretty much anywhere. And if you wondered how it compares to the white Series S, well, here you go. I think it looks a lot cleaner in this carbon black. And a quick look at the ports around the back. We have an Ethernet port, two USBs, an HDMI out, a storage expansion slot, and the power input. And back around the front, we've got an additional USB port next to the sync button. So there's plenty here for charging or connecting your other devices to it. Then there's the matching controller. So if you've seen the Series X, you'll notice it's pretty much identical. So an all black controller with a pop of color on the A, B, X, and Y buttons. I did then go ahead and compare the two side by side. So on the left, we've got the new one that came with the Series S Carbon Black Edition, and the one on the right is the Series X controller. I actually think the Carbon Black is slightly lighter overall than the other one, like it's more of a really dark grey rather than matte black. And the same goes for the consoles. It's only when they're side by side did I actually notice the difference. It's not really of concern, but I thought I'd show them just in case you wondered how they looked. Now the great thing about the Series S is it's the smallest and cheapest next-gen console to buy, but it still plays all of the new and upcoming games. You're not losing out on anything. So games like Call of Duty and Warzone, Forza 5 and FIFA, everything works and plays on the Series S as you would expect it. You also get to play some of these games at 120 FPS, with VRR and HDR which I'll talk about in a minute. But there's one thing that turns this little console into an absolute powerhouse. And that's when you pair it with Game Pass Ultimate. With it being a digital console, you'll need to download all of your games anyway. And this is the best way to do it. Basically, it's a monthly subscription that unlocks hundreds of games for you to play. And value for money, you really cannot beat this. We're talking about a huge library of older games like the Gears Collection and Halo. Even games like Dirt 5, which I really like as far as arcade racing games go. But there are a few other new games here that are definitely worth playing. Games like Hi-Fi Rush, which is a rhythm-based action game. High on Life was another one. That's a lot of fun and has some hilarious humour in it. Or we've got one of my go-to games which is Forza 5. I have spent way too many hours messing around in this game, buying cars and driving them around with no real goal, but that is what I like about it. And the fact that the Series S can play all of these is even better. It never skips a beat, lags or drops frames, and with features like quick resume, you can jump between games and carry on exactly where you left it. Then there are the latest and upcoming games. Like only a few weeks ago, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was added to Game Pass on day one. That is awesome. We also have Payday 3 coming out soon, Forza Motorsport, and of course Starfield. I am beyond hyped to play this game. And the fact that the game is included as part of Game Pass is incredible. I'm kind of hoping that by the time you watch this, I've already started playing this game. 
Now as for the storage, while well, the original Series S came with 512 gigabytes, so this new one now comes with a one terabyte SSD. That is awesome to see and a serious upgrade. That means we're getting double the space for even more games without needing to use an external drive. I've currently got 10 games installed, including big ones like Call of Duty and Starfield, and I've actually only used 63% of the drive. I reckon I could probably fit 15 to 20 games on here easily. But if you did run out of space, fortunately the Series S does support the expansion cards on the back. So if you have one already or you want to buy one, you can slot one of these Seagate or Western Digital Black drives in and instantly add up to 2 terabytes extra. As for the specs and resolution on this, well the Series S is capable of up to 120 FPS. This means games like Fortnite, Gears 5 Multiplayer and Warzone will all play at the full 120 FPS. The only limitation on the Series S is it is capped at 1440p, and that's rather than 4K. But to be honest, it does an awesome job of upscaling it to 4K. I've been playing on a 77 inch 4K TV and a 27 inch 1440p monitor, and I can say that they both look great. Games like Forza 5 runs at 60 FPS FPS rather than 120, but as the Series S does support VRR, it means the games will run incredibly smooth. And looking at this now, you would find it hard to believe this is not 4K, as it looks so good. Now it does support HDR, so any games that offer HDR over SDR, the image will be brighter and will generally look better. We also get ray tracing, so games look even more realistic, with things like improved lighting, shadows and reflections. Now the audio on the Series S is also decent, it supports everything that you would need for either your headphones or your speaker setup, and that's with thanks to the 3D spatial sound. That includes Dolby Digital, DTS, True HD, and Atmos. I'm using a traditional 5.1 setup so no Atmos speakers for me, but the sound is always brilliant. And on top of using it as a games console, the Series S makes a great streaming device. Apps like Netflix, Disney and YouTube can all be installed and used, and any movies or TV shows that offer 4K HDR will all be supported on here as well. I think value for money, the Series S is a crazy good deal, and if you were looking for a way to play the latest Xbox games, such as Starfield and Forza, or you had that itch for Game Pass Ultimate, I really think this is the way to go. It looks great on a desk, and it's small enough to disappear into your living room. It's also available to buy now from Game. I have dropped a link to their website below for you to check it out, and let me know if you do decide to get one. Also, who's going to be playing Starfield this week? Now drop a carbon black Xbox in the comments, and I'll give you a thumbs up for staying right till the end. And if you did enjoy today's video, check out one of these videos next. Thanks for watching, please like, sub, and follow me everywhere. Until next time.